And Jim Howard here, and it is November 9th, 2015. It's a Monday morning, about 9.15 a.m. And let's see, I didn't want to start there. Where did I want to start? Anyway, this is my uh, blog. Been doing that since about 1982. In fact, June of 1982 is when I started with Howard's Notebook. That was on a computer bulletin board system, and people called in at 300 baud to connect. And the original intention was that I have a very terrible, really bad memory. And so Howard's notebook was to be where I was going to, and where I did, put things. And I thought it was things that would help other people. I thought, well, first it was for me, but it was going to be online. But it was so, also I thought other people would find it interesting, and I thought other people would add, you know, information to it. So it had uh, a list of the local radio ham radio clubs, list of. Uh, the local ham radio repeaters in the Kansas City, Missouri area. Uh, just information like that, like list. But then I also entered uh, daily, you know, information about what I was doing, what I was interested in. Uh, same sort of things I'm doing now. Uh, in... 1984, two years later, a Rick Manning, uh, writer or editor of Link Up Magazine, wrote an article for Link Up Magazine, and he picked the 10 best bulletin board systems. I'm not sure if it was in the United States or the world. Let's say the United States. And Howard's Notebook was listed. And in there... Uh, in his article, of course, blogging, the word hadn't been invented. I was blogging, but maybe people were blogging before me, but the word wasn't invented. But he talked about that mine was a chatty and information was given every day and all the marks, I think, of a blog. Uh, the experts say that blogging was invented in 1995. But uh, they were wrong. It was going on at least in 1982, at least in June of 1982. So over the years, I've used, in fact, the first, I had to write my own software for my bulletin board system in BASIC. And I didn't know anything about BASIC. I just had a book, a Radio Shack book on BASIC and, you know, went, well, let's see. Okay, this will make the phone, make this will make the modem pick up. Okay, well, I can send out, this is Howard's notebook, okay. The next day, okay, well, I see. I, I'll, I'll, this command here would let them enter, you know, and day by day I built up the... And then when somebody came around with a bulletin board system that I could buy, I bought it and I never tried to write any software after that. Uh, in 1995, when the World Wide Web was invented, I moved my blog to the World Wide Web. So from writing my own software to buying software to uh, using different live journal was one of the first uh, blogging type of software that I used, I think. There may have been something before, but I remember live journal was one of them. And I used various things for I don't know how many years now I've been using um, WordPress, and WordPress is used by millions of uh, sites around the world. I understand that, uh, you know, CNN and all the biggies and everything are using it. Of course, they may have people, or they not may, not may, they have people who go in and can modify it and what have you. This is what uh, WordPress looks like from the end where the person who's running it. And uh, for you can 
get themes. And I've paid for a lot of themes. I've I've deleted them, all of them. And I'm, these are just, well, except for this one, which I just recently. Let's see, I don't think he sells it. I made a donation. Uh, and this is what I'm using right now. So if you, this is the theme. But there are these others, which are, like I said, uh, now I'm, in the past, I pay, I've just deleted all of them. And other than this one that I have here, the rest of these are all ones that come with WordPress. WordPress, you can use WordPress at WordPress.com, I guess it is. And they will run everything. for You know, you have a, you have a setup like this where you can go in and change things and do things, but it's running there. Uh, a lot of people, including myself, have a hosting, pay a hosting company and install WordPress there. And then we go there to, you know, I log in to do our stuff. So this is the theme. You see what it looks like here. Okay, let's, what you can do is let's pick uh, 2016. I'm not going to activate it. I could, but I'm just going to do the live preview. And popping up here. Now, this, if I were running this theme, this is what it would look like. Of course, I would move things around and change things, and I could, I could do. So that's, uh, that's 2016. I don't really care for it, but that's their... They're always upgrading the software. They have to upgrade it. Uh, also, they have to make sure they put protections in there when they find problems with it. I don't really care for this, the brand new one, which is every year they, you know, there's 2011, 2015, 2014. I, I do like the looks of 2014. And this is, I always want the uh, I can't think today the border the uh, what do you call it on the right hand side with this theme though um, you can have it on left well you can with with others too but with this one uh, I always have it left and right hand I like to play around with it. This isn't showing up good because I don't have the uh, widgets located there so they don't show up. But I'll do one more for you. I have spent a ton of money buying uh, various themes uh, for it. What happens an awful lot of times is... Somebody will write a theme, and it will be fantastic. And they keep making improvements to it. And then what they do is they get an offer from a company, a website, to buy their theme. And so they sell it. They make some good money. And then it goes to this company, and the company just puts it on there and advertises. They have a whole bunch of them. They advertise it. But it never gets updated or changed because the author's got his money and he's gone. And so pretty quick, everything goes to hell in a handbasket real quick. It's unfortunate because these people do write some fantastic... Uh, I've run some software, some of these themes that have been fantastic, and then the guy sells and there's no more updating on it. It just goes to these sites. Another thing with... Uh, I'm not sure I got why I got on this subject... Another thing with WordPress um, is when you go to look for a theme for your, you know, some will come free. But when you go looking for something special, you do, you go and do, you know, 10 best WordPress themes or best blogging WordPress themes or whatever. And what you invariably go to is you go to these sites and, or to sites and they list a whole bunch of, uh, you know, maybe 25, 50 
themes that you can purchase. And never have I ever, and I've done the, ch the check hundreds of times probably doing a search, they never tell you the ones that are free. Or if they do tell you the ones that are free, they're the ones that are free that aren't very good. They don't tell, there's always some out there that are fantastic. They're totally free. Blow your mind away when you find them. But none of these places tell you about them because they have these that they're selling. So, uh, what did I want to show you? Let's see. Well, here's the, uh, the widgets. So this is the right sidebar. Sidebar was what I was trying to think of. So you can pull things over where you want them, move them around, and then there'll be other places depending on the, the what the themes will vary. You may have a whole bunch of places where you can pull these various things. You can arrange them and you can style them and all types of things. Uh, update. Okay, it's probably 2016 theme again because every day it gets because they're working on it, and every day it gets updated with improvements. Okay. Uh, oh, this is actually what I want to talk to you about. Uh, Amazon has a new little feature. If you go you, to, like, the person who does a review... If you click on their name or whatever, you go to their profile. Now, it doesn't show here because I'm at my own profile. But I don't know where it shows because I don't log in as a somebody other than myself. But it'll show here now something new, and it'll say, follow Jim Howard or something like that. And if you click on it, then every time... I do a review or do some other things, you will be notified of it. So you can find out. But you can also go to... Um, I have that here. Let me close this. You can also go to reviews. And these are all my reviews. Well, I mean, this is one page of... There's 18 pages or more of reviews that I have done. So, why isn't that playing? Not sure. Maybe because I'm running all this. I mean, but... Um, I've done 171 reviews, and I'm uh, 6,502. And so there's 6,501 people that are above me that are better than me, uh, have a higher rating than I do. Uh, and that's something, too. You might, when you read a review at uh, Amazon, uh, you really should, if you like the review, if you get something useful out of it or whatever, it's like doing, I forget what it is, uh, there's a, a top, help, helpful, if it was helpful, I have, I think, so click on that if if you liked it, if you got the information out of it. You can see here the number one Amazon reviewer has done a total of 3,823 reviews and has received 35,000, almost 36,000 helpful votes. Clicked, some people clicked on that for helpful. And that's a 96% rate. So this is, you can see how you get, you know, this is the top 10. So on all of these things, uh, YouTube, if, if you like the person's video, you know, give the thumbs up. 
Uh, one of the problems I see with, with YouTube is uh, people are using, I think they use the thumbs up for the, you know, the wrong way. It, it, uh, it shouldn't be that you agree with the politics of the person or you agree that, uh, the SIG is a good, you know, that's the best, you know, handgun or something. I think it should be how good the video is. And I think what people, so I think they're mixing that up. If you, you know, if you don't like somebody's politics, maybe they do a great video, you know, maybe the, the video is great. The sound is great and whatever. So maybe I'm wrong, but a, a few times I've used that. I've like a voting system. You know, if you like such and such or whatever, do a thumbs up. If you don't do a thumbs, thumbs, thumbs down. So I know or whatever. So I, I don't know, but, uh, I'm using the YouTube red by the way, so no commercials. But I'm just signed up for the uh, 30-day free free trial. Um, school punishes a girl for hugging a friend. Funny dogs versus bath time. Come here. Come here. Let's get in the tub. Let's get in the tub. <laughs> Let's get in the tub. You want to go to the park? You want to go for a walk? Let's see. What else? Uh... I guess that's uh, guess that's it. I've mentioned before Fiverr, five dollars. They'll do logos and stuff for you. It's a good deal. Also, if you have some type of talent, something you can do, you can go over there. And I'm I'm signed up. I don't do anything for anybody because I don't have any talent. But I mean, I'm signed up over there. Uh, if you have some type of a talent, ability, you can go over and see what other people are doing. And, uh, I mean, $5 is not bad. Uh, you know, if you did, you know, a few a day. You know. But there are people over there that it's, you don't have to, it's $5 basic and then, Everybody over there has, if you want the pro thing done, you know, in X number of days, $5 or $10 extra. If you want uh, all of the uh, material, if you're doing like a logo, if you want uh, it in other formats or whatever, an extra, you know, you can, you could add up into some. Last pass, by the way, is uh, password. If you haven't checked it out, it is great. I've been using it for years, and you can use it for years for free. Or you can use it for free, but I think twelve. I pay twelve dollars a year for the advance or what. And really, there's nothing that you, you know that I need. What, but still, I just pay twelve bucks. It's worth it, you know, to uh, help support them. Uber. If you haven't used Uber and you're going to use Uber, please come to ShowMeBlog.com. If you click on this, you get a $15 free ride, and I get a $15 free ride when you take your free ride. Uh, Lyft does the same th same type of thing. Uh, I didn't put their thing on here because they they I think both of these people actually do it. They have these specials, and then it changes. So it makes it kind of difficult 
for me to put like, okay, right now it is. I checked this morning. You get a $15 free ride and I get a $15 when you take, I get $15 that I can use for a free ride, you know, with them. The problem is I, they're, they change it. And so if you say, you know, $15, you know, free ride next month, it might be, you get a $10 free ride or a $30 and they, they change it around and make different offers. So it makes it kind of, uh, wish they could come up with their logo with their thing here that would automatically update it inside of it. So I wouldn't have to, uh, kind of be watching for that. I moved it. Well, I moved everything around here in the room. I don't know if you can tell. The desk was like this. So I was facing this way. And you may remember that window being behind me there. I took the desk and with my daughter's help, moved it around like this. And I haven't got everything hooked up and working, but uh, over there is where I did have the printer. And right now I've got my battery charger and my medications and the rest of that stuff is stuff that I need to review. And there's a couple, like there's this item here, not the Coke, but this thing I need to review. That's there. Let's see. Back, my chair is in front of it. Let's see. Back here is this uh, table there that has my amateur radio on it and my camera. That's not showing up very good. Let's see. The camera is, where are you? There you are. My camera's there and some other stuff. Need to uh, come around here and my medications and my computer. Got this uh, Sadie headset up there, the Thor X. I put it up there. I have about three others. I got another one coming to be reviewed. I have three others of their put away. Got another one to be here in a few days. The reason I put this one up here is it's ideal for hooking into uh, a cell phone, a tablet, or something else like that with the type of cord it has and what have you. And I don't know if you can see. Okay, there's that printer. I wish I could get that printer on a network, but I, I couldn't do it. My grandson, who's really good at computers, couldn't didn't really want to put much time into it. So I've got it hooked up USB. I wish I could just get it where it's working over the over a network so I could get the get it if I get the hell out of here or at least away from me. And that table that everything over there is sitting on, which is kind of blocked by this lamp old computer desk is about to fall down so it may fall down with uh, with that printer on there and let's see there's my bed over there is the you know the cable modem, the router, and a bunch of other junk. That thing on the floor is also something, the white thing there. Let's see if you can see it. No, it's not going to work. That's not going to work. Okay, anyway, that's a thing to go in the bathroom to make it easier stepping in and out of the shower. And I have to review that. Above that is my whiteboard. I You would think with computers that I could keep track of everything, but I need that whiteboard so that I know what's, what bills are due and what have you, so I don't get surprised by any. 
I guess that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. Corral screen capture.